Hail Panda Wands and Journeyman Walk and that illustrated last day of October path. Indeed, is the last day of October. What a great month it was, too. I gotta say, I think I, I don't know, I think I did way more pictures this month than I did in the last October. What about you? Did you guys walk the illustrated path with me and create those mean green ball wampin' machines? Or'd you flake? That's okay. October's coming again next year. But that doesn't give you the, uh, the, the, the free pass. You gotta be creating all the time. Always be creating. That's what we say here. We, the royal we. Sammy, Samwise, Samuel, all of us over here. That's what we say every day. <laughs> yeah, it was a very fun month. I had, I had a great time drawing these uh, orcs. This one here is a uh, I thought a, a, a befitting one for October's end. We show like a dead orc. And it's kind of funny because uh, it's just like the orc skull. Um, but I still always like add hair to it and stuff. Whenever I used to draw skulls for dwarves, part of the reason you could tell that they were dwarves or even the gnomes is like they had the beards or the pom-poms. It just it made it really iconic looking. I think we even did that at Blizzard when there was like a, a we called it like the headhunter or something or other. So like if... If you brought in a you know a, a big talented person or something like that, they gave you this troll skull and it had the red mohawk on it. It was it was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, anyways, getting back to uh, what I was I was gonna be speaking about on this here video. Thank you for watching again. Is uh, the goal walking this illustrated path is every day we want to have forward progress. You know, every day, every week, forward progress doesn't matter how much either. You know, some days it's it's inches or steps. Some days it could be miles, you know. Always forward progress with that with that illustrated path. And it's great for October because we don't just have forward progress. We got focused progress. And it's like, what the hell does that mean? All right, well let me uh let me explain. So when I started doing October a few years ago, I just thought it would be fun. You know, just give me a reason, <laughs> give me a reason to draw the mean green aggro machines, you know, and it's like, oh, we can make some forward progress too, make some artwork walking that path. But what I didn't uh, realize and what I started to after, you know, I don't know, maybe the, the first few weeks of it or something is that the focused, pro the focused progress I had, like the focus on what I was doing, it was all orcs. For a whole friggin' month of the year. Right? And then I've been doing that for two or three years now. It's like that's basically, you know, one month out of every year. So, you know, three months in the three years. Or, you know, two in the two years. I can't remember if it's two or three. But if I hadn't been walking under that October banner, I would, I would still be making artwork. But the art would be all kind of over the place. It would be dispersed and... Any random number of things, which is cool because, again, that's that's forward progress. But nothing would be like linking them together. You know, having like this this one sort of banner that you're marching under for that month. And it's because of October that now I have, geez, like dozens and dozens of, of you know, all these like sort of, they're random images, but they're all random orky images. You know, they're or, orc weapons or you know, uh, you know, an old grandpa orc or, or this, that. And it's just like all these different orc images. And that's really where it, it kind of hit me. It's like, wow, that, that focused progress. Cause like, like, what could I do now? It's like, okay, well, um, because I have all this orc stuff, I could do the Orktober sketchbook and just have it be this sketchbook, you know, filled with, you know, the dozens and dozens of uh, images that I've made over the course of the last couple of years. And, you know, that could be something really cool. Or I could, <laughs> I could do a, an Orktober calendar where it's just one month, but it's like the 30 each day is a, a new Ork image. <laughs> so that'd be kind of funny, a one month calendar. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's like any number of of things that could be done. And that's all because for that timeline you know I was focused working on something and I don't, I don't know why I never thought of that before I mean like I remember when I would be working you know towards a, a 
and this was usually on a, well, I guess I did it at work too, but like when I would be working on a, a book project of mine, it's like everything that I would do would be focused on that. And it would be very rare that I would stray and work on something else. But when October came along, just for doing like, you know, I always call them brutal doodles and, uh, you know, just having it be that one, one topic to focus on really kind of helped I guess, focus them. But now it's like, oh, a little October sketchbook, that could be fun. Or the <laughs> the silly one-month calendar with 30 pages. <laughs> or however, you know, 31, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, happy Halloween, everyone. That's right. Are you guys all going to go out with the kids? Or are, you, or are you silly adults who love to dress up? Are you going to go out and go get some candy or, or be a bunch of bullies and take it away from the other kids? <laughs> I've uh, I've never been a Halloween guy. Uh, I liked it when I was a, a kid, a child. Um, but even back then, I was never one for like candies and sweets and stuff like that. I used to, so I had to deal with my parents that we could trade in um, our candy for money. And I, I even ended up doing this with the kids at school. Um, I would trade in my Halloween candy and... You know, I'd get like, you know, 25 cents for something that's bulky, like a, you know, big Snickers bar or not big Snickers bar, but those little bite sized ones. Um, and like 10 cents for the, you know, the little roll of Smarties or lollipops and stuff like that. But, you know, after that, I'd have like five or six bucks that I could spend on whatever I wanted. And normally that would just be me riding the bike down to the, uh, the local, you know, 7-Eleven or stop and go and I'd hit that spinner rack of comics and I'd always just buy comics they were you know of course super cheap back then I could get like two or three comics for a dollar um it was always difficult though because the comics on those spinner racks were you know never they had they had no focused progress (laughs) they were all over the place and they were old it wasn't like you know like in the in the movies or maybe it's really like that on the east coast east coast panda wands let me know You know, the newsstands where they got like all the periodicals and books and all that. And you can count on a fairly, you know, regular, uh, you know, distribution of comics or whatever. I don't even think they do that anymore at the newsstands. I think it went to comic book shops. Now comic book shops are all drying up and dying out. But, you know, maybe they'll bring them back to the stands and back to those old 7-Elevens and stop and goes where I can trade in all that Halloween candy that I have and play some video games and (laughs) grab a grab a Slurpee or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, I'd always, I'd always get the Conan comics. I love Conan comics. And, and if, if they didn't have Conan, I'd get, you know, usually it was like Spider-Man or Batman, Avengers, stuff like that. But yeah, I always, I always love the, uh, I always love the Conan comics. The great thing too, is I still have some of those comics I bought, I, I bought back in the day. And the, you know, that candy that the other kids got, that's long gone, rotted all kinds of teeth away. So <laughs> I'll have to see if I could find some of those and maybe do a video of it because I still have some of the the Conans and some Spider-Man ones and things like that that were, some of them were were, were really uh, iconic for me too. So I kept them and some of them, I guess, just, you know, went by the wayside. But yeah, so look how, look how cool our, our October's end is coming. With this, uh, I got some nice, uh, what is it, contrasting kind of colors. I think it's supposed to be orange and blue, but I like doing orange and purple. But I do this one thing where I just blast it with blood red and then kind of erase away. It really came out looking cool. But um, yeah, again, another end of October. It's always sad, but that's also nice. Uh, now am I going to do November? I don't know about that, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do a gnome for the people who cried for that. <laughs> or cried out, I should say. But uh, all right, Panda Wands, will you have a great Halloween, happy end of October, and remember your ABCs, okay? Always be creating. Cheers and beers all. I'll see you on the next video. Hail! <laughs>